Hi, my name is Homyar. I'm a visually challenged physiotherapist and I'm going to demonstrate to you for the first time ever a completely accessible interferential therapy unit come muscle stimulator, come tense, come Russian currents. This accessibility feature has been developed by the Xavier's Resource Center for the Visually Challenged, XRCBC, Mumbai. Since the inception of interferential therapy, when the visually challenged users were using it, they had to depend upon clicks and bips generated by the machine, and they had to memorize all the menus and submenus. As the complexity of the machines increased, it became more and more difficult for the visually challenged physiotherapists to remember all the menus and the submenus. Hence, it was felt necessary that an accessibility feature should be introduced into a mainstream physiotherapy unit. And this is exactly what we are going to show you today. This is the unit that we are talking about. I'll first introduce you to the different features and the buttons and the switches on the unit. I'm going to switch it on from the power switch which is located at the back. Unique medical appliances welcomes you. Accessibility features in this unit have been promoted by the Xavier's Resource Center for the Visually Challenged, XRCBC, Mumbai. Press any key to continue. As you could hear, the machine immediately spoke out the intro message which was displayed on the panel. I'll first run through the different switches. Running from my left to right, in the front of the unit, you can see an output socket. The first round one with multiple holes is for interferential therapy. The second and the third one are to connect the electrodes of muscle stimulator and tense. And at the extreme right, there's a small hole which is used to connect the headphones. On the main face of the machine, there are five vertical switches which are smaller in size and three switches which are larger and square in shape which are in the horizontal row. Running down the switches from top to bottom, the smaller vertical switches are F1, F2, F3, F4 and F5. And the horizontal switches are start slash stop. The second one and the middle one is the info switch and the third one is the save switch. There is a training mode which has been given on this machine. For a new user, what he is supposed to do is just press the center switch and then switch on the machine. The user has to keep pressed the info switch and then switch on the unit in order to activate the training mode. I am just switching it on now. I have to keep the switch pressed till you hear a beep. Training mode activated. Now it says training mode activated. Now if I press any of the switches. F1 pressed. F3 pressed. Same pressed. So it just repeats the functionality of the switch. It does not activate the switch. I'm switching on the machine again from the switch at the back. Unique medical appliances welcomes you. Accessibility features in this unit have been promoted by the Xavier's Resource Center for the Visually Challenged, XRCBC, Mumbai. Press any key to continue. The unit announces that press any key to continue. So I'm going to press any of these switches. I'll just press... Main menu, F1, IFT, F2, muscle stimulator, F3, tins, F4, Russian currents, F5, protocols, the machine announced that from F1 to F5, there's a selection between IFT, stimulator, tense, Russian, and protocols. The same things are being displayed on the main display. So now if a user wants to go into IFT menu, he just has to press F1. IFT, submenu, F1, back, F3, two hole, F4, four hole, F5, four hole vector, so it's giving us three different options of IFT from F3 to F5. That is two pole, four pole, and four pole vector. Supposing if you want to select four pole, 
So we'll just press F4. Four pole. Sub menu. F1 back. F2 previous. F3 next. F4 increase. F5 decrease. Parameters menu. Treatment time 15 minutes. Carrier frequency 2 kilohertz. Base 80 hertz. Spectrum 50 hertz. Cycle time 6 seconds. Program continuous. So it has announced all the parameters which are there pre-selected, starting from treatment time. Now, if I the treatment time is displayed at 15 minutes, if I want to increase or decrease the treatment time, I can use F4 and F5. If I want to increase it, I can use F4 and go up. Treatment time 16 minutes. Treatment time treatment time 18 minutes. Similarly, if I want to reduce it, use F5. Treatment time 17 minutes. Treatment time. 16 minutes. Now in order to move to the next parameter, I must use F3. Carrier frequency 2 kilohertz. So it gives me an option of 2 kilohertz and? Carrier frequency 4 kilohertz. Once you select that, you move on to the next parameter using F3 again. Base 80 hertz. It has announced that the base is 80. If I want to reduce the base, I can just press F5. Keep it continuously pressed. Base 47 for a uh, faster reduction, if I want to bring it up to 50, I just... Base, 52, base, 49. So uh, this is how you increase or decrease the base. And then move spectrum, to... 50 hertz. Similarly, as we did with base, you can either increase or decrease the spectrum. If you want to increase it, you can just spectrum, press... Spectrum, 67 hertz. Moving on again, use F3. Cycle time, 6 seconds. This gives us an option between 6 and 12 Cycle seconds. Time, 12 seconds. And moving on again. Program continuous. These are the different variation of programs, so you can just cycle between them. Program linear. Program trapezoidal. Program non-linear. Program non-linear. You heard a little longish beep and the word non-linear repeated. That means that that's the end of the cycle. So you need to go down again. If you want to choose program trapezoidal, right? So supposing if you want to use program trapezoidal, that's the end of the parameter selection. Hence, now we can start the program using the start switch, which is the first on the horizontal row. If I'm pressing it, treatment started. Sub menu F1 increase intensity, F2 decrease intensity, F4 balance increase, F5 balance decrease, intensity zero. Balance, zero. Time, 16 minutes. So just announce that you can increase the intensity by using F1 and F2, change the balance using F4 and F5. So I'm just going to increase the intensity by pressing F1. Intensity, 17. Intensity, 19. Supposing the patient feels it a little too harsh, we can reduce it again using intensity, F2. Intensity, 18. Intensity, intensity, 16. Now when the treatment is running, if you want to just recollect what you have set as intensity or how much time has lapsed in the treatment, you just have to press the info switch again, which is the center in the horizontal row. Intensity, 16. Balance, 0. Time, 15 minutes. So this is how the interferential therapy is going to work. And it's going to tell the user every detail that is being displayed on the display panel. Supposing if you want to stop the treatment in the middle, you just have to press the start stop switch again. Treatment stopped. Four pole. Sub menu. F1 back. F2 previous. F3 next. F4 increase. F5 decrease. Parameters menu. Treatment time 16 minutes. Carrier frequency 4. Kilohertz, base, 49 hertz, spectrum, 67 hertz, cycle time, 12 seconds, program, trapezoidal. So as you heard, it just repeated all the parameters which were uh, set before we started the session. If you want to go back to the main menu, just keep on pressing. IFT, submenu, main menu, F1, IFT, F2, muscle stimulator, F3, tens. F4, Russian Currents. F5, Protocols. The same system applies to all the menus from muscle stimulator to TENS to Russian to Protocols. 
the machine has got also a facility for protocols where a user can record his protocols and save them for future use. There are 25 empty programs which can be programmed and reprogrammed again and again for future use. This ends our demonstration about accessible interferential therapy. For any further information, please visit our website at xrcvc.org or for any feedback, please write to us at info at xrcvc.org. Thank you.